Red 5 reporting in. Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Today I'm about to take a look at Chapter 10 of The Mandalorian. I'm so glad it doesn't show me the title, so I don't even know what that is until we get into it. Last week was amazing as far as I'm concerned. The entrance of Cobb Vance and just the entirety of the episode staying with what I almost wanted to call classic Mandalorian, but he kind of has his own tone at this point. Just staying with the formula that works, but it felt a little bit bigger than last season. But at the same time, not epic galactic scale, just still him on a search for something. If it's not broke, at any rate, I am extremely, extremely excited for this week. But I got up very early for, for this, so I wouldn't get spoilers throughout the day. And I could shoot this and just think about it for the rest of the weekend. Okay, so this is like 15 hours later at this point, And I have had nothing but problems with my editing software. I spent hours with their support trying to get it fixed and at the end of the day what's going to happen is unfortunately my dialogue during the reaction is pretty much going to be mostly non-existent please keep in mind i also have to fight with the mouse after this as well because i have to spend hours uploading this video and trying to get disney to sign off on it and they will tell me what i can't use the short version being if there's a news report tomorrow about a man in a Wookiee mask running naked through the streets, there's a good chance it's me. Is this right? Right where we left off. Nice. to him knew it knew it <laughs> that was a look of dude what is that okay what is that species It's all great. Okay. However, there is one small skank in the scud pot. Which is? Seem to be. Would your craft in the proximity of New Republic Correctional Transport Boss's spot? You got a runner. I'm on it. Razor stand down. He will fire. I don't know where he thinks he's going in that thing. I don't think he's going to 
You come over here, give me a hand, make yourself useful. Visibility. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Records also show that you put your own life in harm's way to try to protect that of Lieutenant Davin from the New Republic Correctional Corps. Am I under arrest? Technically, you should be. But these are trying times. Let's say I forego the bounties on these three criminals. Wake me up if someone shoots at us, or that door gets sucked off its rails. I'm kidding. If that happened, we'd all be dead. Sweet dreams. As I was watching this, I was actually thinking that this wasn't as good as last week, and I'd say that still holds true, but that was right before the spider scene, which, to eat spiders, but at the same time, that was a really awesome scene. That was that was really action-packed. And the X-Wings, oh my goodness. Okay, well, the X-Wing, 
where do I even start? Because I was going to start with the X-Wings, but no, no, no. That fight at the beginning, that fight at the beginning is glorious. So jetpack straight up, the the uh, grabbing the, the gun and pulling it into the other two guys. Fantastic. But then the X-Wing scene, of course, where they're getting chased. That was incredible. That was one of the best chase scenes in Star Wars. But then throw on the spider fight and getting saved by those X-Wings. I love that scene. That scene, this show is so much, while the original Star Wars were more samurai films, this is very much a lone gunman film, like an old Western. So the marshals basically coming in and saving the, you know, the outlaw, the guy that skirts the law, but he's not necessarily bad, but you know, that guy, the, the Clint Eastwood, the fact that they come in and they save him. And just like in an old Western, recognize this guy's not that bad. We've heard stories about you. You know, instead of this case, they actually have records of what this guy did. Instead of like in O's movies, it would usually be stories, you know, things like that. But in this, they had actual records, which I loved. So, you know what? Bygones, you can go on your way. So, I loved that. It was amazing. I'm still going to say this not as good as last week and in the long run i can't see this being one of my favorite episodes but it was still really really good all right what did you guys think leave your comments below do you have any thoughts on what's coming next i'm still having a hard time dealing with the fact that baby yoda was eating children basically <laughs> oh my goodness that was a twisted joke so leave your comments below. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll be doing all of The Mandalorian for the rest of the season. So please stay tuned. All right. As always, before I go, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thanks for watching.